Hello guys, this is an introduction to Sony's Presence. It's an Arduino compatible board. Presence consists of two boards, the main board and the extension board. This is the main board, small uh, form factor, small board equipped with built-in high performance GNSS receiver, supporting GPS and GLONASS, and audio codec supporting high sound quality, high resolution audio. So let's get started. The main board can operate by itself or with the extension board. And what I like about this board is the specs. It's between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Better processing power than the Arduino and low power consumption uh, than the Raspberry Pi. Suitable for wearable and IoT projects. It does not have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on board, but you can add it as add-ons. Let's talk about the specs. The board is equipped by 6 core ARM Cortex M4F Max clock frequency is 156 MHz uh, SDRAM of 1.5 MB Flash memory is 8 MB And we have digital input output supporting GPIO, SPI, I2C, UART, BWM and I2S uh, Analog terminal to channel uh, and of course, as we said, Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, supporting GPS and GLONASS. And on board we have a camera interface. Uh, you can find full uh, comparison between this board and Arduino in the description below. This is the Spresence extension board to be used with uh, the Spresence main board, meaning that you don't use it alone, uh, it will not operate without uh, the main board. We can see it's pretty much look like the Arduino board, uh, same, uh, I think it's same pin out, same size, I'll try to use uh, some Arduino shields with the board later to see if it will work or not. Mainly the extension board have audio input output, 8 channel digital microphone input or 4 channel analog microphone input and headphone output. Uh, we have voltage conver conversion from 1.8 volt to 3.3 volt or 5 volt. Analog uh, terminal, 6 channel and we have SD card slot on board. Now let's set up the board with uh, the computer. To get start using this uh, board, uh, from uh, the link showing now, you can download, you can develop using uh, Arduino IDE or develop using Express SDK. In this uh, video, I'll uh, explain how to use uh, Arduino library. First. Of course, you need to have Arduino installed and after that you need to download the USB to serial driver. Uh, depending on your operating system, you need to download one of these uh, drivers and after that you need to install it on your system. After that, we need to install the Presence Arduino library. We need to copy uh, this URL or this file location, copy, and from Arduino, File, Preferences, and the Additional Board Manager, we need to paste this URL. If you have existing uh, board manager URL you can just uh, press comma and paste uh, this URL okay from tools board board manager let's search for let's search for presence and this is the 
the board we this is the package we need to install simply choose the latest version and click install this is gonna take some time because uh, it's gonna download around 150 uh, megabyte now the board manager is finished installing the board from tools from board and now you can choose presence and let's connect it to the computer from com it's here com4 or whatever serial board on your uh, computer you need to choose it uh, the last step uh, to use the Arduino IDE is to burn the bootloader from the programmer choose Spresence Firmware Updater and then click on burn bootloader this may take a minute you will have this end user license agreement go to download page and in the download page you can find this file you need to download now and of course to accept the agreement you need to drag and drop the file and it will finish burning the bootloader finally it's now done burning the bootloader and you are ready to start programming using the arduino ide in the file section examples you can find a lot of examples for the spreads now let's uh, connect the, the two boards together connect the, both the plastic spacers that come with the board and don't use any metal spacers because it will interfere with the onboard GNSS chip note to connect the note that we connect it from this side the two micro USB will be in the same direction now the connection is done let's try running an example and uh, here i have uh, and in the getting started uh, in the getting started guide you can find a simple blinking led uh, example simply upload it to the board Now it's installing the files on the board. This means that you already done all the steps right. Done uploading and the board will re reboot and you can find that the LED is turning on and off in a sequence. Well guys, this was the Spreads main board and the extension board. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Like if you like, share the video that will be a great help for the channel. Uh, this is a powerful and advanced board. We will not use it for just blinking leads. Uh, I'll use it for some interesting projects. So please subscribe, turn on the notification bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.